In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite passing play in Madden 21 from the Gun Bunch, and it's called the Flood Play, the Flood Concept. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I really believe in today's video you're going to walk away with something that you can really use to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you have not already hit the subscribe button yet, I want to encourage you to do that. It's completely free. You can hit subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, and if you want to know whenever we release a new video or a new tip, um, just go ahead and turn on your bell notifications. If you click that little um, notification icon next to the subscribe button, that way YouTube will let you know whenever we release a new video so you don't miss one of these uploads. Okay guys, so I am so excited today and I wanna and I, and I wanna just jump right in really quickly here, but we're gonna be talking about Gun Bunch and why Gun Bunch is so effective and actually specific play out of it. Now, if you don't know, I just released my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook. I've been running Bunch since Madden 12. Um, and so, you know, it's one of my favorite formations every single year. So, we released a full ebook on the Jets, New York Jets Gun Bunch. We also released a full ebook on the Bunch Tight End as well. And so, if you want to get both the Bunch and the Bunch Tight End, there's a little bundle deal that I got right now. Both guides separately are 15 bucks a piece. But if you want to get them both together, it's just 20 bucks. So you can get that full uh, ebook in the description of this video. If you want to just get the bunch guide, it's only 15 bucks, and that's in the description as well. Over five hours of video content, almost over 70 pages of written material. So very, very good stuff. And uh, I want to dive right in today to the play Flood. This has become, quickly become my favorite passing concept in the entire game just because of the way that the routes work. It's one of those plays, it can bomb a lot of coverages but it's also one of those plays that can just work the ball up and down the field with so uh, the setup that I like to use is really simple I like to take the circle receiver and put him on a hitch route and I like to take the running back and put him on an option route I think this is the best bang for your buck you still have those really nice uh, deep digs and deep outs but you also have really nice little underneath check downs in case they blitz or they're not using yellow zones so what you're gonna see here, if it's man coverage, I'm almost always gonna just take the option route. The option route to the running back is one of the most consistent things that you can do um, to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. What this is gonna force them to have to do is it's gonna force them to have to start going to zone. And the first type of zone that they're gonna run is they're gonna run cover three Mabel. That's the whole purpose for the hitch and the option route. If they run cover three Mabel, you see that we're just gonna be able to take down and check it down right to our little hitches right underneath and, uh, and get easy yardage. Now another thing I wanted to hit on is let's say they're running, um, let's say they're running the Mike Blitz three meta, and they're coming down here, and they're going to run some cover three Mabel on this side. I want to show you kind of what uh, is going to happen. And again, I'm going to use her. Uh, oftentimes, you're going to notice that against bunch, a lot of people will jump to the running back first, and then they'll go cover the rest of the routes. So um, what you're going to notice here is this route to R1. Um, the zones are going to kind of flood out, and you can hit that route right at the seam really quickly. It's a nice little quick read if they're running a lot of Mabel coverage. And then the other thing that I wanted to hit on is, let me show you some stuff. Like, let's say they're running, you know, a little bit more underneath coverage. So now they start trying to take away those hitches. Um, and that's where everything starts to open up for this offense. So what you're going to see now is with them trying to take away the hitches, they can't run double flats. And so that's where you can really work your high-low read between your tight end and your running back. You're going to find a lot of success uh, with this tight end flat route. Uh, not a lot of people really know how to cover flat routes this year um, in the ebook we actually spend about an hour teaching you everything you need to know about flat routes and how they work and why the bunch has the best possible way for you to run uh, flat route concepts in this game now uh, let's say that they do put a five yard flat out there I just want you to see something real quick here this is a five yard flat as you can see it doesn't it does not exactly stop that what they have to actually do is they have to put it at zero yards or they have to play a traditional hard flat to be able to truly get out there and stop it but let's just assume that we don't want to throw that read and i just want you to watch kind of this left side here so you see the yellows come down this in route is absolutely incredible it's a basically a high low read between the option route and the in route whichever one gets open first is the one that you're going to go to now uh, one other thing i didn't hit on is let's say that you wanted to leave um, let's say you want to leave Tavon Austin on this streak here, you're going to find that, or this fade, you're going to find that against cover three, a lot of times you can actually pass this to the, to the right side, get over the top of the defense, 
for a one play touchdown against cover three. It's one of the best fade routes uh, in the entire game. In fact, um, let's jump out of this and let's grab cover four quarters. They've showed you cover two, we've showed you cover three Mabel, we've showed you man coverage, and now what I wanna do is I wanna show you cover four quarters and just kinda show you what this play does. And that's why I'm saying that this play is so good because it just does a really good job against pretty much anything that the defense wants to throw at you. So I'm gonna jump down into what I believe the meta that we built uh, in this game, which is the cover four quarters meta. We've been running it for about a month and a half now. Uh, and what you're gonna notice here is all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that cover four quarters and we're just gonna leave that fade out there if you see them in cover four quarters. And what should happen is the circle receiver should get over. The safeties are gonna have a hard time identifying what they're supposed to guard. And the circle receiver is gonna get wide open over the top of that defense. Now, if you don't want to go over the top, and let's say you're in your original setup and they're still running the cover four quarters on you, the beauty of Flood is that this out route to the R1 receiver is going to do a really good job is going to do a really good job of getting open most of the time. Um, if that corner on the outside has, like Jair Alexander does, a deep out elite ability, sometimes he'll play this a little bit better. But the other route that's going to get open against cover four quarters is this option route to the running back. It's a very consistent read. It's, he might get tackled as soon as he catches the ball, but it's a very consistent read against the quarters coverage. This play is phenomenal. It's really good against pretty much anything that anyone likes to do. There's a lot of power in this play. And... It doesn't look like much. You look at the routes, and I would say that I'm not, no one that wa runs this play is really wowed by the routes, but when you actually run the play, you're gonna have a, a whole new, um, a whole new perspective. Uh, I want to show you hard flats really quick on this left side here. So if you see here, um, this hard flat is out there. You see that it doesn't exactly pick the ball off. He just kind of goes there. They have to have acrobat to actually get that interception. And then one other thing I wanted to hit on as far as Mabel coverage goes. And that is to the left side here. So if they don't have a yellow zone uh, on this option route, what you can do is you can just snap throw it. And uh, of course I hit my offensive lineman in the back of the head there. But let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm just gonna set the coverages up. And again, this is just with no, you know, with no yellow zone or no user. But what you'll see is you can just snap and throw that route there as well. So you have f multiple quick reads, you have multiple options on this play. But basically your progression is going to be, uh, what I like to do is I like to read the option route quick to the tight end, to this little hitch, and then to the out route and the in route. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the full ebook, it's on sale right now for just 15 bucks in the description. There's a link for you to get it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions at all, you can always hit me up via text message. My cell number is 208-218-6900.